Hey guys, um, so it's moving day for my transfers. Um, because one, so we're going to be rehousing the uh, Brachypama Bohemi, the uh, NNC Gold, and the Lassie Dora Parrot High Banner. Um, I've set up some new enclosures for them, slightly bigger sizes. Um, give a bit more room. Obviously, I've got a bigger tether to put it in so we don't have any escapees. Catch a cup, and some tongs, and a brush. Hopefully, this should go alright. Um, right. So, next clip will be the first one. Okay, so first up is the Bracket Palm of a Hemi. Um, I won't be actually be filming actually doing the move um, just because I need both my hands free just in case you can't escape these. But this is a new enclosure set up for it. Give it a nice big hide if it wants to use it. Um, plenty of place, place to walk around and obviously a water dish. Um, compared to the other side, it's like twice the size. So, hopefully, this will keep her happy for a little while. So, hopefully, this one will go alright. So, I shall check back once the uh, transfer is done. Okay, and she's in, sort of. Um, hopefully, we can get to go down. Go on, go down, go down. There we go. And she's in. So that's the first one in. Uh, let's grab the lid. And then we'll get on to the uh, NNC Gold next. Okay, now we're on to number two, uh, the NNC. Uh, so for this enclosure, again, given it a hide. Um, giving it a load of bits of cork parts, use anchor points for the web, and then obviously just the water dish. So I'm looking forward to webbing this one up actually, it should be quite cool. So this one is quite a fast little thing, so uh, hopefully when we get any escapees, I do have the catch cup out of the ready though, just in case. And number two is in. And already those spinnerets are going. That one was a bit more difficult, she didn't want to budge. Um, but hopefully she's slightly closer. Right, I'm going to get the lid on before it decides to do a run up. Nope, 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 nope. Ooh. Okay. Safe and sound. Um, I also left a bit, a bit more height on this one. Um, let's do this up. Very skittish right up. Okay. Um, yeah, so I also left a bit more height on this one, so uh, a bit more room for webbing. So that is number two in there. And then last up, the big girl. Okay then. So number three. Um, oh, this one is obviously a much bigger enclosure. The little tub I was using is not big enough. Uh, again, uh, given the hide, the last time I gave the hide, she just kind of dug up the back and buried the damn thing. So I don't know if she'll use it. Um, little plant. Um, I'll use the water pot from from the current one in there. Uh, hopefully, we won't get too many hairs or anything flicked at me. Should be beautiful. So. Look at her first before we move her over. There we go. There she is. My beautiful girl. No. Nope. What's the command there? Low body things. Look at that. I'm hoping this one should go quite smoothly. So right, I'm gonna put my camera down now so we don't put the spider or herself at risk and then uh we'll be back in a second. Okay, she's in. We did get a little bit of hair click clicking. Um, obviously, she's uh, not particularly impressed. Um, but yeah, now it's in. I used the water bowl from the current one, just cleaned it out and refilled it for her. So there she is. She's got much more space to run around now. Um, so we shall see how she likes that one. And maybe it actually uses a hide. So looking at the hide, should be just about right for her. So there we go then. Three rehousings. Okay, so there we go, guys. Three little spruders and some bigger, bigger, bigger enclosures now. So they should be in there. They'll be in there for at least a while now. Um, we'll set an end in. Looks like my Bracky Palm with the Hemi. She likes that uh, hide, hiding away in there. Um, I'm just going to web up and she's sat down. So I'm going to put them away now. So there we go. Three rehousings. Um, I was going to say something. I've completely forgotten it. Um, but we'll cut now and then we'll go get go some uh, extra feeding footage for you guys. Okay guys, first up for feeding is the uh, Mega Fahima Robustum Clubbing Giant Red Leg. Um, the cricket already jumped in here. Um, Dumped up the tongs. Oh, there he is. Um, spider's in there. Let's see if we can't encourage the uh, cricket to go where we want it to go. Go on. Oh, 
you go in the hole. You think? There you go. No down. 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 Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You gonna go inside? See where its leg fell off when it so it removed itself from the songs. I don't know if we're gonna see this one. Because the spider is in that. Uh, there. But if you guys probably can't see it, it's not particularly clear. Um, but it's burrowed all the way down. There and it is in there. Um, we shall see what happens to this cricket. Let's give him a little We'll push in, see if we'll go in, go in, go in. Maybe we see this spider just grab it. Oh, oh, got some X. So uh, that's probably the looks like that might be the most we're going to see of uh, this one. I have no idea if this is a male or female. Um, it's what's sent to me, unsexed. So obviously I have to wait for a molt and then try to sex it, which is my first time trying to sex a tarantula. Uh, obviously even with the slings I've had some molts, but I'm not going to try and sex a, a sling um, with my um, experience so far. But I should have to sex a spider this because it gives you inches across this one. Um, obviously my last Adora Parabana came as a um, already uh, sex female, so I know that's female. I'm hoping this one might be as well. These things are pretty leggy, so it might be a male. We'll soon find out. But anyway, I shall close that one up and hopefully it will take down the cricket. And uh, we'll go on to the next one, go on to the scorpions. Okay, next up we have the uh, uh, H. Spinifer, Asian Forest Scorpion. Um, and it's usually in its little burrow down there, so... And let's see if we can get a response. If not, I'll just drop the cricket in and see what happens. There's the cricket. Let's see if we can get her. You can see it disappear into the hole. This is the shiny black claws come out and they'll be gone. I think. Is it down the bottom of his burrow? There it is. I don't know if we're going to see anything. Sorry guys, this feeding video has not been pretty great so far. Problem when you have a lot of uh, camera show. Guys, go on, uh, let's see if we go and push if we can get anything to happen. Let's go inside. I think this is going to be it guys. This is going to be a, uh, a video of pet holes. Um, but, oh, what just needs a bit of a clean out. That in there, give it a refill. Well, it's been a uh, for a species, I do keep the uh, enclosure quite damp. Um, let's get such a spray. Okay. Give it a bit of a misting. So one of these uh oh dear. mini pressure sprayer things. Freaking great for uh, misting now. Yeah, water, plenty of water. The cricket is in there, so at least it's gonna be fed. Um so there's that one, and then we'll go one we can actually see next. Okay, and last up we have uh, the flat rock scorpion. There he is, or she. Um, again, I do need to um, do some more research on how to sex scorpions. Um, but yeah, these cool little, such a cool. Uh, this is very active, um, always out and about. Um, also, get this one quite dry, uh, being quite an arid species. 
Yeah, there's also about out and about this one. Uh, this one is just gonna have oh, a waxworm. Um, doesn't like crickets. Not seen it take one yet. Get the lid off these guys. I have these because I use them as treats for my leopard gecko. But I feed them off to obviously. I've only got the one gecko, so one tub is way too many. Um, let's find one that looks particularly ooh, juicy. Okay. See, you want this? You want this? You want it? You want it? Nope. You dropped it. Look, it's here. You want it? Let's just put that for a second and uh, see if we'll go for it. We wiggle around quite a bit. Yeah, this thing is such a small uh, tail compared to the other one. Compared to quite a lot of uh, species. Um, I, I think I said before, but I do want to get some. Uh, oh, there we go. I do want to get some uh, desert species. Oh, Silly grabbed it. Because um, there's some cool spiders. Just some desert species in general. With that, um, I would be some good desert spiders. There's a sand spider because they have sand spiders because those things are freaking cool. Um, but. It's on. Well, it's holding it in its pincer. Um, thinking about it. Are you hungry? Fun snips. Okay. There we go. There we go. They have such freaky mouth parts, scorpions. Like little mini pincers. And just munches away. There you go, guys. An act something actually eating something um, <laughs> in the feeding video. That's kind of what you guys want to see. Um, zoom in a bit, see if we can uh, get a better view. Thinking about it, I definitely need some better lights. There we go. Scorpion nom noms. I would not want to be that worm. But yeah. It likes the worms. But yeah, so uh, that's some feeding time for the scorpions. I'm hoping someday we will get some better footage of some of the other other animals feeding. Um, these spiderlings seem to be the best ones feeding. Because the only problem with them is they're so small. There we go, guys. Right, and I'm gonna. Put this one away and let her finish her, finish her dinner. Uh, hey guys, uh, so I've just uh, taken all the enclosures out and guess who's come out to say hello? Um, I'm not going to open this enclosure because this thing bolts. Um, but yeah, so that's the Cumbian giant red leg. You can see it's a fair old size, uh, a few inches across. Um, I need a bit, bit more research on that side. I believe these ones get pretty big. Yeah. Oh, I, don't know. I believe. If it hasn't caught the cricket, it is after the cricket. But yeah. So there it is, guys. Um, so yeah, I'll just tack this on to the end of the video. Be quiet, not to scare it. Anyway, guys. Bye.